Hi, boys and girls. Today in reading, we are going to be making connections between two texts and focusing on the characters. So the characters are who the book is about, right? Uh, it can be a person, it can be an animal, or it can be a thing. Um, and we're going to kind of make connections between two characters in two separate books. So I'll kind of be talking through the Venn diagram kind of like we did yesterday, but I'm mostly just going to read you a brand new book and then we're going to compare it to a book we've already read. So we're going to be thinking about the character Rock in this book and we're going to be comparing it to a character in this book, The Grouchy Ladybug. So as I'm reading this, I want you to try to remember Rock from the book and see if you have any connections about how they are the same or how they are different. So think about connections you might have between the two characters. Here we go. It was night and some fireflies danced around the moon. At five o'clock in the morning, the sun came up. A friendly ladybug flew in from the left. It saw a leaf with many aphids on it and decided to have them for breakfast. But just then, a grouchy ladybug flew in from the right. It too saw the aphids and wanted them for breakfast. <clears throat> Good morning, said the friendly ladybug. Go away, shouted the grouchy ladybug. I want those aphids. Well, we could share them, suggested the friendly ladybug. No, they're mine, all mine, screamed the grouchy ladybug. Or do you want to fight me for them? If you insist, answered the friendly ladybug sweetly. It looked, like, it looked the other bug straight in the eye and the grouchy ladybug stepped back. It looked less sure of itself. Oh, you're not big enough for me to fight, it said. Well, then why don't you pick, some, pick on someone bigger? I'll do that, screeched the grouchy ladybug. I'll show you. And it puffed itself up and flew off. <clears throat> well, look at these cool illustrations here. See, these are all different little pieces of the book. At six o'clock, it met a, a yellow jacket. Hey, you, said the grouchy ladybug. You want to fight? Well, if you insist, said the yellow jacket, showing its stinger. Oh, you're not big enough, said the grouchy ladybug and flew off. See, now right here, I already have a connection to Rock because Rock kept fighting different characters, right? Like the, um, let's see, now I'm trying to remember. He, the, um, the clip, the, the clothespin that was holding up the underwear on the clothesline, he fought him. And he also fought the peach that was hanging up in the tree, remember? So he wanted to fight everybody a lot like the ladybug but the rock actually beat everybody. This ladybug is just wanting to fight and then leaving and trying to go fight somebody else. So that's, that's a little different. I can already tell that. Let's keep reading. <clears throat> At seven o'clock, it met a stag beetle. Hey, you, said the grouchy ladybug. Want to fight? If you insist, said the stag beetle, opening its jaws. Oh, you're not big enough said the grouchy ladybug and flew off. At eight o'clock, it came across a praying mantis. Hey you, said the grouchy ladybug, want to fight? If you insist, said the praying mantis, reaching out with its long front legs. Oh, you're not big enough, said the grouchy ladybug and flew off. At nine o'clock, it almost flew into a sparrow. Hey, you, said the grouchy ladybug, want to fight? If you insist, said the sparrow, opening its sharp beak. Oh, you're not big enough, said the grouchy ladybug and flew off. <clears throat> At 10 o'clock, it saw a lobster. Hey, you, said the grouchy ladybug, Want to fight? If you insist, said the lobster, stretching its claws. 
Oh, you're not big enough, said the grouchy ladybug and flew off. At 11 o'clock, it bumped into a skunk. Hey, you, said the grouchy ladybug. Want to fight? If you insist, said the skunk, starting to lift its tail. Oh, you're not big enough, said the grouchy ladybug and flew off. At 12 noon, it spotted a boa constrictor. Hey, you, said the grouchy ladybug. Want to fight? If you insist, said the snake, right after lunch. Oh, you're not big enough, said the grouchy ladybug and flew off. Looks like he's getting ready to eat that squirrel. If he's gonna eat a squirrel, I don't think the ladybug stands a chance. At one o'clock, it happened upon a hyena. Hey, you, said the grouchy ladybug. Want to fight? If you insist, said the hyena, laughing eerily and showing its teeth. <laughs> oh, you're not big enough, said the grouchy ladybug and flew off. At two o'clock, it met a gorilla. Hey, you said the grouchy ladybug. Want to fight? If you insist, said the gorilla, beating its chest. Oh, you're not big enough, said the grouchy ladybug, and flew off. <clears throat> oh my goodness, look at this. At three o'clock, it ran into a rhinoceros. Hey, you, said the grouchy ladybug. Want to fight? If you insist, said the rhinoceros, lowering its horn. Oh, you're not big enough, said the grouchy ladybug and flew off. At four o'clock, it encountered an elephant. Hey, you, said the grouchy ladybug. Want to fight? If you insist, said the elephant, raising its trunk and showing its big tusks. Oh, you're not big enough said the grouchy ladybug and flew off. <clears throat> oh my goodness, look at this. At five o'clock, it met a whale. Hey, you, said the grouchy ladybug. Wanna fight? But the whale did not answer at all. You're not big enough anyway, said the grouchy ladybug and flew off. At 5.15, the grouchy ladybug said to one of the whale's flippers, Hey, you! Want to fight? Look at him up here at the flipper. Look how big this is still part of the whale. But it got no answer. So it flew on. At 5.30, the grouchy ladybug said to the whale's fin, Hey, you! You want to fight? But it got no answer. So it flew on. This is still the whale. At a quarter to six, the grouchy ladybug said to the whale's tail, hey you, you wanna fight? And the whale's tail gave the grouchy ladybug such a slap, watch this, crack, <laughs> that it flew across the sea and across the land. And at six o'clock, the grouchy ladybug arrived right back where it had started. Ah, here you are again, said the friendly ladybug. You must be hungry, and there are still some aphids left. You can have them for dinner. Oh, thank you, said the wet, tired, and hungry ladybug. You're welcome, said the friendly ladybug. Soon, all the aphids were gone. Thank you, said the leaf. You are welcome, answered both ladybugs, and they went to sleep. And the two fireflies who had been sleeping all day came out to dance around the moon. So if we're making text connections between characters, I picked out the rock from this book as a character and the grouchy ladybug here. So connections that I have, <clears throat> they both wanna fight and they both keep looking for a harder um, person to fight. Remember, rock tried, let's go back through and look a little bit, make it fresh in our memory. Mm. Yeah, he was the strongest warrior in all the land, right? And so he fought the paperclip. 
right? And he talked trash too. That's when you kind of just say, hey, you want to fight? Because he says, come battle me, you ridiculous wooden clip man. So he's kind of talking trash like the ladybug did, right? Like making him angry so he'll fight him. Ladybug did that too. So there's a connection there. They both kind of talk mean to other people to try to get them to fight them, right? And they both keep trying to battle harder opponents, right? Like here's the peach. I mean, couldn't, and he beat, he beat the peach. Mm. And then he, he's getting frustrated and so he can't find anybody to beat, right? Now the ladybug doesn't actually fight anybody, but he says that he's going to, and he keeps looking for harder characters to fight. So there are some things that are the same, but there are some things that are different, but I definitely have connections. They both talk trash, right? Trying to get the other characters to fight them. And they both are looking for somebody harder to fight. So there's a connection I have there, okay? So today you have two books and I want you to pay close attention to um, there's one alligator in one book that I want you to pay attention to, and I think the other character is called Clarabelle or Annabelle. Pay attention to that character in the other book. See if you have any connections between those two characters and either record yourself telling me your connections or write a connection. It just has to be one connection you have about the characters. Maybe they both do something. Maybe they both act the same way. All right, very good, thank you.